Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. This week, it looks like we have a lot to look forward to in the world of Star Citizen. Let us delve in. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members for their support, in particular to my latest channel member, Satanski666, and to my patron, Caractacus Potts, for upping their pledge. Very much appreciated, guys. So jumping straight into it, on Tuesday we have a short story entitled Dying Star, which was previously released in an issue of Jump Point. I will have probably read this back when it was released in Jump Point, but I'm assuming it's to do with the Arena Commander map Dying Star that is found in the Pyro system, most likely telling us about what's happened. On Wednesday, we have both the Squadron 42 and Persistent Universe monthly reports. These are always full to the brim of information regarding what CIG has been working on over the month just past. And I do love breaking these down into separate videos. So if you don't have the time to read them both, be sure to subscribe and check out my videos, which will come sometime later this week. On Thursday, we have a new Inside Star Citizen. This week is looking like it's going to be a bit of a beast, with a focused look at both the Aegis Redeemer and the Ares Starfighters, as well as a new sprint report. Thursday sounds like it'll be a great day, as these are all three very exciting ships, and the Redeemer, in fact, is the next ship in my new Roadmap ship series, just like the video I released for the Drake Vulture, which I will link in the description below, so do expect the Redeemer video sometime soon. Finally, for Friday, we have the usual Subscriber Vault update and weekly RSI newsletter. Plus, there will be a new Star Citizen Live. However, we are yet to learn who the guests will be and at what time the show will air. This will be announced later in the week. So in other news, Xeno Threat is continuing throughout the whole of this week. So if you are concerned about not having enough time to reach level 3 rep, don't worry, the event is ongoing all the way until Sunday. And it turns out that you don't need to have maxed out your level 3 rep to get the rewards. You just have to be within the bar. But do be advised that the bar does deplete over time. So it's probably worth jumping in now and again if you are only just in the bar. Uh, but if you have maxed it out, then you probably don't have anything to worry about. We actually still don't know when the event will end. It could end this coming Sunday, but there are no official dates as to its end date. It could continue through till next week as well. We just don't know yet. And finally, Ship Showdown Phase 1 is still ongoing. You have until September 6th to submit your creations, at which point the most popular ships will become the top 16, going on to the next round of voting. So that was this week in Star Citizen. It is already shaping up to be a pretty exciting week, and hopefully Star Citizen Live will be something we can sink our teeth into. Of course, as usual on Sunday, I will condense all of the information released over the week into my weekly video Star Citizen Sunday, so do keep your eyes peeled for that one. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Also, if you want to hang out and watch me play Star Citizen as we take on the Xeno threat, or just chill and chat, you are more than welcome over at twitch.tv forward slash Super Mac Brothers Ryan. The link's in the description below. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, tick the bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. Big thank you again to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.